you will probably know us by now, but for those of you who don't, my name is Steph. This is Trin, and we're coming to you live from the Soy Dog Foundation in Phuket, Thailand. It's two o'clock in the afternoon here today, and we are at a dog and cat shelter. So there's going to be a lot of barking, quite a lot of noise. Uh, we can't do a lot about that, unfortunately. So I'll do my best to speak quite loudly so that you can hear me over the top of all of the other noise. So Trin, please tell us what you do here. Sawadee My name is Trin, and I am responsible for our sponsorship program. Wonderful. So as if perfectly on cue, it's just started raining here, um, which is exactly what we didn't want to happen. So we're going to persevere because obviously we cancelled the broadcast last week due to bad weather. So we don't want that to happen again. Um, so it might seem a little bit unorganized because we, we might have to change things around if the rain gets any worse, but we will do our best to show you all of the uh, sponsor dogs. So, we're going to be meeting five of the gorgeous sponsor dogs today. Podovis, Augusta, Doris, Lucy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and so, we would like you if you could um, like and share this video so that other people at home will be able to see it pop up on their Facebook. Um, so, we're going to now go over to the Shy Dog Run and meet the gorgeous Lucy. You should be able to see her now. So Lucy is the golden dog, and she is nine and a half years old. Now, the reason me and Trin are not in that run is because it is a run purely for shy dogs, and they don't know us very well, so we wouldn't want to put them under any stress that they don't need to be under. So they're joined in there by behaviorist Eve, and Lucy is nine and a half years old. Now, she was found on the streets of Thailand at just a few months old. We're not sure exactly what it was that she witnessed, but it has meant that she is terrified of humans. Um, she's also not a fan of the rain, so if you see her looking a little bit uncomfortable and trying to run away, that might be why. So I'm sorry about that. She might want to go undercover in a moment. Um, after years of time spent with behaviorists here, she is still extremely shy of humans, which means that it's very difficult to rehome her and a dog like Lucy will most likely spend her entire life at the shelter. You can really help her by sponsoring Lucy's care today. Please go to www.soydog.org. There is a search box where you can put in Lucy's name or you can also choose from any of the wonderful dogs on the sponsorship program. So Trin, what do you get when you sponsor a dog here? Uh, you will receive our sponsorship certificates of appreciation and also three updates per year starting in April and August is an update about how your sponsor dog have been progressed and also as well as what has been going on at our shelter. In December you will receive a Christmas greeting video from your sponsor dog. Perfect, thanks Trin. Um, so the Saw Dog Foundation mission um, is to improve the welfare of dogs and cats in Asia, resulting in better lives for both the human and animal communities, to create a society without homeless animals, and to ultimately end cruelty towards animals. So I just wanted to let you know a little bit of background about uh, what it is we do here in case you didn't know. So we are going to be showing you the gorgeous Mary, and she is in the Shy Dog Run at the Soy Dog Foundation. She is the white dog with brown patches, and the reason that me and Trin are not in there is because with black patches, sorry, I do apologize, black patches, not brown, um, and the reason that me and Trin are not in the run with her is because she is an extremely shy dog, as are all the dogs in that run, and we wouldn't want to put her under any stress unnecessarily, so in there with her is the behaviorist Eve. Eve has been working closely with a lot of the dogs in that run, and they are much more comfortable with her. So, um, Trin, what can you tell us about Mary? Um, Mary is about four years old. Our dog catcher found her in a small village. At that time, she was about a year old. Um, at, um, Mary has a very, very serious skin disease. Um, her body was covered with ticks and fleas. The people around there didn't want to feed her because 
her body smells so bad, so uh, she was very skinny. Um, because her uh, food source is only uh, from the trash. Um, people, sorry, a horrible ordeal has shattered her trust in us humans. So, yeah, Mary is extremely scared and traumatized by her past. And um, she was treated with medicine, so the mange is now all gone. And she's a beautiful dog when you look at her, but the mental scars still remain. So, unfortunately, she is not ready for a home yet, which is why we are asking for people to sponsor her care by going to www.soydog.org. You will receive a certificate of appreciation and also updates throughout the year, letting you know uh, how she's getting on and the progress that she is making. So it really is a wonderful thing that you can do for these dogs. So for those wondering why a dog would be put on the sponsorship program and not be ready for adoption just yet, and the answer to that is the dogs have many different reasons why they could be on the sponsorship program. Uh, some are like Mary and they're just too shy and scared of humans, or some are undergoing medical treatment and some are just too old or unwell for a long haul flight. So they're put on the sponsorship program uh, in hopes that those of you out there will sponsor their care. And uh, it's a really wonderful thing you can do for these dogs. And it helps towards their care for the entire time that they're at the shelter. So uh, Trin, obviously, we mentioned yesterday in the broadcast, for those who may have missed it, Podovis from the sponsorship program has been confirmed as adopted. So obviously, we're all feeling wonderful about that. But these are the dogs on the sponsorship program that you look after. How do you feel when you hear a dog is going to a new home? Um, it's a mixed feelings. I feel sad, but I am very happy because uh, Podovis is now finding a new home. You know, all their lives, these um, rescued dogs, they have been suffering a lot. No home, nobody to turn to. But now some dog like Podivis is now uh, finding a forever loving home. Exactly. That really is the end goal for us. We, we want these animals to find new homes. Um, so it's so wonderful when, when one of them is confirmed adopted like Podivis. So we were all really, really happy. There he is, <clears throat> showing off a gorgeous soy dog scarf as well. So, Podivis is around six years old, and he was found at a temple. He was missing one eye and limping badly on one of his hind legs, and he was obviously confused and very scared. He was brought straight into the shelter and received treatment straight away. He had physiotherapy and surgery on his leg, and... Um, he can now walk fine, which is wonderful news. Unfortunately, though, he does only have limited vision in his remaining eye, and he's also incontinent as well. So we believe that is most likely why he was dumped. His previous owners uh, decided that they could no longer care for him with the treatment that he needed. The wonderful news that we wanted to let you know, and we're very excited to tell you, is that Podovis has been adopted. So it's official, um, he's going to the USA. So for those of you that are currently sponsoring him, don't worry at all. What usually happens is we will take a nice photograph of him the day he leaves and send you an email with the information about where he is going and also kindly ask you if you are able to choose a different dog that is on the sponsorship program and desperate for your help. So those of you that are sponsoring him, don't worry, you will receive that email. Um, so he is taking on no new sponsors at the moment. He is going to a home and we're all absolutely thrilled about this. So, we're going to go for a little walk in the rain. It looks like it might have calmed down slightly. So, please follow us. There are many gates here, just to, <laughs> almost locked you out, Trin, sorry. Just to make sure uh, we've got extra precautions. So none of the dogs get lost, yes. So Trin, how much is it to sponsor a dog here? Uh, sponsorship program is a recurring gift subscription. 
It's a monthly recurring gift subscription. So uh, for US dollars is 29, and Australian dollars is uh, 38. If UK pounds is um, 24. 24. <laughs> Wonderful, thank, thank you very much. So we are going to be, oh, I've just realized these are all going to be soaking wet. Uh, well, uh, we are going to be joined by a very special vet here. In fact, the shelter manager. So um, she's just going to come out in a moment. I just wanted to let you know, because we get a lot of questions on Facebook about do we teach others, you know, animal welfare. Um, we don't just, you know, sterilize and treat animals here. Do we tell others to try and prevent the amount that needs to be treated? And the answer is yes, we do. So the Soy Dog Foundation has numerous programs designed to improve animal welfare in Thailand. One of them is the Community Outreach Program, which holds workshops to teach proper dog and cat care, including sterilization and vaccination. And another is an education program designed to teach children to have compassion for animals. So we want to you know, um, speak to the community and get them all involved with making sure the amount of animals coming in that need treatment reduces. So, um, yes, we have numerous programs designed to do that. So, uh, I'm just going to go and have a look where Dr. Sue is. She should be on her way any second with sponsor dog Doris. Um, and it's quite noisy here again, I apologise. It's because it's raining and there's been a tiny bit of thunder, so... The dogs get a little bit wound up with it, so I'm very sorry about that. And she's on her way. So <coughs> Dr. Sue is very special here um, because she has a bond with Doris that Doris that we're going to meet in just a few seconds um, that nobody else at the shelter has. So we thought it would be really nice to have her involved. And we're also very lucky because being the shelter manager, she is extremely busy and we really appreciate that she's got a few moments to come and join us. So here she is with Doris. Hello. So Dr. Sue, how long have you worked at Soy Dog Foundation? Nearly 10 years. And do you have a favorite dog here? I have a lot of the dogs. <laughs> That's my favorite. A lot of them are your favorite. Good answer. Um, so, would you tell us about Doris, please, Trin? Okay, Doris is about five years old. One of our volunteers found Doris dumped in his garden. As, uh, she was then about two months old. She was alone, no mom, no other sibling. Um, we have no idea what had happened to her. But whatever it was, it must have been terrible because she was so scared of people then and she still is till now. Only one person who can give Doris hugs and kisses is Dr. Sue. If Doris feels comfortable with you, she'll come round and sniff, but she will not allow you to pet her. It is still a long way for Doris to be adopted because she still needs more time lot of love so uh, from all of us here so then she can learn how to trust us so your compassion means so much to a homeless dog like Doris and her friends at our shelter thank you so Doris is beautiful but yet she's not yet ready for adoption so it's www.soydog.org uh, to, to sponsor Doris's care for the entire time that she's at the shelter so thank you so much Dr. Sue and Doris we will see you later um, so how many dogs are on the sponsorship program uh, right now we have 20 of them being promoted on our uh, sponsorship web page Brilliant. So the fifth and final dog that you're going to be meeting today is Augusta. Uh, so Augusta is all the way over the other end of the shelter. So we're going to zoom you over there now and you should be able to see her with Eve, who is the behaviorist at the Soy Dog Foundation. So they're in a nice grassy open area where Augusta likes to go with Eve. She finds it much more relaxing there than anywhere else in the shelter. So Augusta is around four and a half years old and she was seriously ill when she came to the shelter. She had um, a severe stomach condition, she was vomiting constantly and she had absolutely no appetite. So everybody here was really worried that she wouldn't make it. 
She was treated straight away and she surprised everybody with a full recovery, which is wonderful. Unfortunately though, she um, is very shy of humans and we think this is probably due to the ordeal that she went through. Due to this, she is not ready for adoption yet. We do hope that one day she will be brave enough to go to a new home, but she's not ready at the moment. So if you would like to sponsor Augusta, it's www.soydog.org. And uh, unfortunately, that is it for today. I'm sorry about the rain, about the technical issues. Uh, hopefully we will iron them out for next time, but it's a learning curve for all of us. So. Um, Thank you so much for watching, and if you've missed any of our previous Facebook Lives, then they're all available on our Facebook page and also our YouTube channel. We will be doing future live broadcasts of the other sponsored dogs that you haven't seen yet, so make sure you watch out for those. And as a bit of a teaser as well, we might be doing a live tour of the hospital on our Facebook channel, so uh, make sure you watch out for that as well. So thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all the love and support and we will see you again very soon. Bye. Bye.